In VRAD 2024, we started to modernize and rework the complete user interface. It all starts with a new onboarding screen, where you have access to different topics like learning paths, documentation, what's new and so on. When you are in VRAD, the first thing that jumps out at you is the new icon set, which is modernized and optimized for better readability. But it's not just the icons that have changed. All module windows and main window have been optimized. And you will see our new blue accent color throughout. And if you want to dock a window onto the main UI, you can do that now with the middle mouse button or with the shift left mouse button and pre-select where it should be docked, which will avoid docking by mistake. You can also very easily create groups now. And if you want to add a window to the quick access bar, you can do that now with a right click on the top border. You will also recognize that the tabs of the window are now on the top as well as the toolbars of each window. And within the window, you will see our new infinite sliders, where you can easily change values by hovering over the number area. Another change is with our view cube. Now you see a navigation bar appearing, containing multiple options when hovering over it, like different navigation options and turntable. You can also change the view cube's position size and appearance, and hide the view cube and the navigation bar with a keyboard shortcut. The change also aligns better to the alias UI. And if you want to have a different color theme, you can do that now as well. We have three different color themes. A dark blue, a light gray, and the dark gray. For changing layouts, different workflows or personas, we now have a new workspace rollout, where you can easily save your previously used layouts and quickly switch between them directly in the main user interface. And we have already predefined workspaces for you. Additionally, we added the ability to import Material X and MDL materials. This will give you a ton of more options when working with materials. You may want to download MDL materials from the NVIDIA website and Material X from the AMD website, for example. Then simply create a Material X or MDL material and then load the material definitions. Now you will see all editable parameters available. Additionally, we updated the streaming app. The main menu is now on the left side. This gives much more space for the viewport, especially on smaller devices. And you can toggle between a list and a thumbnail view. As a quick reminder, we already implemented in a release before our reworked scene graph, where you have access to different object information like metadata, animations, transform variants, touch sensors and annotations. And also our new advanced search widget, which uses simple Python expressions to search for metadata information, is implemented all over the place. With this new metadata search and also metadata editor, you can improve your complete visualization pipeline. Also, I want to remind you that we have already implemented OpenXR, the new standard for XR devices within VRED. And last but not least, we added a new environment, which is available for you within the VRED library. Please note that this is for ray tracing only. Thanks for watching the video.